Hey guys, just wanted to do a really quick video on a product that I'm super excited to finally get my hands on um, through this whole panic buying and stuff and stuff being um, in short supply due to COVID and other reasons. I've been trying to get my hands on this Hornaday lock and load conversion kit. I love the um, design of the lock and load that Hornaday uses on their reloading presses. And I, it was a while ago I realized that they make the conversion kit for different reloading presses, specifically for me, the RCBS Rebel. I chose the RCBS Rebel, as you can see right here. Let's get this camera up here. I chose it not only because it was available when other presses weren't, when everybody started jumping on the reloading bandwagon, when ammo started getting scarce. But um, on top of it being available, I like the design. Um, it's a bigger, more sturdier design. It's a newer press for RCBS. But the only flaw was it didn't have the correct threads for using the lock and load load adapter so it's the first time getting it out of the package so you're gonna learn with me Here's, here's the new one versus the old one. I don't know exactly how you tighten this down. I'm going to just do it hand tight and then maybe take some channel locks and just give it a slight nudge to seat it. But I'll hang on to this if I ever have to use it again. But hopefully I'll be good to use the Hornaday lock and load collets now. Yeah, I'm just going to get on this with some channel locks just real quick and just give it a little little turn to seat it in there. And then, yeah, these drop down in here, and then they turn to lock in place. I'll put them on a die, and we'll try it out real quick. Super simple upgrade. As you can see here, I'm just going to screw it on. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Anyways, I don't have this die set for anything in particular right now, but. So that's what it's going to look like with the lock and load adapter on it. You throw it down in there, give it a quarter turn, and then it's in there. Then you would set your die up how you need it. And then obviously tighten down your collar there. And the nice thing about this setup, once you have your die set to what you want, it's always gonna be right there. You're not gonna have to re-set up your die every time. Super simple. Um, it comes with with three of the uh, collars, and then you can buy just more collars, which I'm going to have to do because I don't want to. I mean, the main purpose of this is so you don't have to switch these out on your dies. So eventually, you're going to want to have one of these for all of your dies. So, I mean, that'll be my next purchases. I'll hopefully, every time I make an order from Brownells, I'll just add some more to my cart. But actually, um, I couldn't find these on Brownells. I saw Midway had them and some other places had them in stock, so I knew Brownells surely had them. So I found the manufacturer's product number and searched it on Brownells' site. And it came up with this little hint that that they um, don't have them in stock, but Sinclair International, 
which is owned by Brownells and ships out of the same warehouse, had them. So if there's a, ever a product you can't seem to find, try finding the manufacturer's number, plug it in, and if one of Brownells' um, sister companies has it in stock, you should still be able to find it and order it. And a little tidbit, um, through Sinclair International, your um, gift cards and also my Edge membership worked for free shipping for this. So, yeah, if you have an RCBS press or another press that's not a Hornady and you like the setup with the lock and load dies, I highly suggest this. If you have any questions, um, I can try to answer them as best as I can. As I said, this is all new to me too. But um, questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks, guys.